Hello, it's me again, Adam Yopst of A Team Reality LLC, and I'm excited about presenting this week's radio show to you. Uh, this is going to be an informative piece for both potential home buyers, future homeowners, as well as current homeowners. Uh, we're going to be talking to Robert Moses of Home Team Title. Now, Bob is a settlement attorney, uh, and he's successful uh, at running his uh, title business in Rockville, Maryland. But today, he's going to be talking to us from another perspective as a homeowner who has successfully appealed his property assessed value, uh, saving him a lot of money uh, over the past year. So I'm going to be asking him questions about how to go about uh, reassessing that property or how to request an appeal for the assessed value from the state of Maryland uh, and the steps that he followed to get that done, as well as some other interesting details about how to approach the problem and how to get a successful appeal. Uh, so hopefully you'll enjoy the show. Uh, this will be part one of a two-part series, so next week you can follow uh, the second half of today's interview. Enjoy the show. Your first question uh, about these property tax assessments and how to best go about appealing them uh, is to first just tell us a little bit about your story uh, and your success in appealing the, the property tax bill that you've recently received. What happened in my case was I have a house in Prince George's County. The old assessment was approximately 320, and they came in in, Jan in December of 08, January 09. They sent me my notice of value, and they told me my property was worth 380, and I felt very strongly that that was incorrect. So I filed the appeal. As part of your preparation, what you do is you you um, you can ask them for their worksheets. And you can ask them for comparables, and they'll provide them, and that's what I did. Um, and then you examine the worksheet and see how they came to value your property the way they did. You got me thinking about something as you were saying that. Uh, it sounds like once you get your assessed property's value, your tax bill, uh, at that point you have 45 days to uh, submit a request to have the property reassessed. Uh, and that's what you did. Yes. Yeah. Um, now, you would also mentioned that you can uh, request the comps from the state, and I guess those are the sales comps that they use to determine the assessed value. Is that true? That's right. Awesome. So it's like you're looking at their notes as to how they assessed the property and came up with the value that they did. Yes. Ah, that's awesome. And then if you wanted to put together a list of other things, you wanted to first double-check their work to make sure they had the number of bedrooms and bathrooms and square footage is correctly uh, and then if they didn't you can change those things uh, but then you may also want to call a real estate agent and, and uh, get some additional sales comps that may be a little more timely or or better sales comps that would justify a a, a different value I believe that's correct I, I, I think your your strongest argument is going to be other properties in your neighborhood sold for less, and therefore your 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 value is over assessed. You can also, if they have factual errors, like they've got, they're saying you have more bedrooms or more bathrooms than you have. That certainly helps in making the adjustment. But in this market, the the strongest argument that you have is that there's that their factors are wrong. Other properties in your your neighborhood sold for less money. And their their value per square foot that they're using is too high. Right. So 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 that's what that that's the argument that you would make. Okay. Well, that makes a lot of sense to me. Now, so you know, in, in a real life scenario, uh, a, let's say a home owner gets this assessed value and they determine it's too too high. Um, Included in that tax bill, there's some kind of uh, direction or telephone number or website that they can start this appeal process. Is that right? Yes. Okay, time out. Real quick, let's review the three different ways that you can appeal your property tax uh, assessed value. The first way and most typical uh, is that people will receive notice when they receive their property tax bill. That's what Bob is referring to when he says the normal process, and he'll get into that a little bit later. Another way to, for you to appeal your property tax value is to simply fill out the petition form. Now, you can go online to the state website and download a copy of that form and then fill it out. 
you'd want to do that before January 1st of the year that you're hoping to have that uh, tax uh, assessed value change. The last way to do it would be when you uh, purchase the property. So you have 60 days to submit a petition to uh, re have the property reassessed. So with that in mind, let's continue listening to Bob as he explains the more typical way to have your property tax bill reassessed. The normal appeals process is that, that you receive the notice of assessment once every three years from the State Department of Assessments and Taxation. Included in that packet is forms for appealing the assessment should you disagree, and there are directions in there that explain what to do. And it's designed so that you can do it yourself, but the problem is assigning values, you really, it's, it's useful to have a good realtor or an, an appraiser that you can go to that will give you some, some comparables that really more, most closely match your property so that you can argue that they've over-assessed you. Gotcha. And uh, that, that's, the, that's the key. So when you submit that request to have the property bill uh, or the, the property assessed value uh, appealed or reviewed, would you also indicate that you would request access to their sales comps, or is that something that they automatically do? No, you have to ask them for it. Okay. Well, that's a good tip. I think it's important for everyone to consider doing that. Uh, that allows you to tell uh, what they looked at when, when coming up with that value. That sounds like a really smart plan to, to look for that. Yeah, it was really um, disappointing in my case because I, you know, I prepared pretty well for this meeting. And what I did was I, I, I didn't feel that I would get a proper hearing if I just mailed it in. I, I, didn't, I, I wanted to look the guy in the eye and talk to him about it because I, I felt like, in my case, the give and take would be useful. So I set up a, an appointment, and what they do is they call you and set up an appointment for you to go to a location and meet with the assessor. And in, in my case, there was a uh, library that they use for this purpose in New Carrollton, and, and, uh, and, and, and you just go meet them. It's in the basement of this library, and there's a huge room in there, and their station set up, and they have these uh, assessment professionals at each one of the stations, and you go at the appointed time and go sit down with the gentleman or lady and, and go over it. Um, when they sent me the comparables, they sent me a ridiculous number of comparables. It was almost like they took every house in the tax map. I mean, there were houses that were 10 miles away. There were houses that had nothing to do with my type of house, and it was very confusing. So what I did was I, I just got a realtor to give me um, several comparables that were in the neighborhood that were similar to my property, and I took those with me and showed it to the person when we discussed it. And, uh, you know, fortunately for me, I, I, I didn't know what to expect because I'd appealed before another property and I got nowhere. But in, in this case, uh, they reduced my value from 380 to 250 Wow. Which was a huge reduction. And it saved me $1,000 a month and $1,000 a year in taxes. Wow. That's, yeah, that's a good amount of money. Yeah, the, the, the tax rate, especially this particular property, was not my principal residence, so I didn't have the benefit of the cap on increases that you do on your principal residence. So mm -hmm. I was paying the full rate, and it made a huge difference. All right, and with that, we're done with today's first half of the radio show. Tune in next week when Bob continues to explain this process and his experiences through the assessment appeal. Uh, next week you'll get into the time frames that are involved, how long it took for this whole process to take, as well as the appeal process later. If you get back a result that you're not happy with, you can elevate it to, uh, to additional uh, uh, boards and uh, as far as the, the, the court system, the, the tax uh, court system in Maryland. Uh, but we'll get into that next week. So pay attention. He's also going to go into details about how to put together the best package uh, possible to get a, a good result so that your property can be reassessed, uh, reassessed and uh, save you uh, potential hundreds and thousands of dollars in your tax bill. So hopefully you'll find it informative. Tune in next week. Until then, take care.